So how does a nuclear power plant, in this case EBR1, make heat? Let's start with a very important atom. It's uranium-235, and in this little example here, all the protons are red and the neutrons are blue. I wanna introduce you to our hero. This is a fast neutron, and when you see this fast neutron, I want you to think of this. Whee, whee, whee! <laughs> it's so silly, but this is what makes nuclear power possible. So we've got this fast neutron, whee! hitting uranium-235. Now, one thing to remember about uranium-235 is it's about 0.7% of all the uranium in the environment. The rest of it, 90, what is it, 99.3%, those are all different isotopes of uranium. So when this fast neutron hits uranium-235, it's not like a billiard ball ballistically like blowing up all the protons and neutrons. It's a different thing. It fundamentally changes the nature of this atom, and it's no longer uranium-235, it turns in to uranium-236. Now, I've got these different color googly eyes to represent the fact that uranium-236 is a little bit different. It's spicy. So, uranium-236, really deep on the periodic table, there's a lot of forces at work. It doesn't want to hold itself together. It's not as stable as uranium-235. So, this exists for a very short amount of time, and then something interesting happens. It actually splits. This is fission. It splits the atom into two new atoms. This is not a chemical reaction. This is fission. We are splitting that atom into two new atoms, and they're very surprised to exist. Of course, they are different atoms. We've got krypton, and we've got barium. 